What is up my dudes, Kevin here, we are back with a brand new Red Dead Online video. In today's video, I'm going to show you guys a brand new money exploit location in Red Dead Online. So if you guys enjoy this, drop a like down the video and comment down below. What do you think of this location and what is your favorite spot to make money in currently in Red Dead Online? Besides that, subscribe to the channel and let's get this going. So like I said in the intro of today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys an awesome new carcass fishing location here right above Blue Water Marsh. So come to this location right here on the edge. And once you guys are here, you want to first take out your fish rod, and this is going to spawn in all the fish in this location. Even if you guys see some ripples in the water, make sure you take out your rod, because as you can see now, there's a whole bunch. At this point, put it away, and we're going to go ahead and grab the carcass off the back of our horse and place them in the proper spot. Now, this time takes a little finesse, and you got to get in the right location, but once you're there, you'll notice the fish will start heading over right away, and that's how you know you're good to go. So... You want to get it so its head is just barely touching the water. And this looks like it will work. So let's put it on in there. When you hear the water splash, that's usually a good sign. Give it a second or two, and the fish are going to start piling up. So right away, it looks like we got some fish heading over. Looks like we got one trout and a very large catfish as well. And boom, we got it in the perfect spot. The fish are dying right away. At this point, guys, we're just going to let the deer marinate on up in the water. And the fish are going to pile up. What you guys can do while these fish are coming is you can actually fish to your left here, but you want to make sure, guys, you do not go too far away from the deer because all your fish will despawn. So if you do want to fish and be a little extra efficient, just go to this spot right here and you can fish down a little bit. And uh, don't go any farther than that, guys, because it's not even worth risking losing all your fish. But as you can see, the fish come at a very steady and fast pace at this location, which is why I love it here. And nobody really uses this. I haven't seen this anywhere else. Now we just wait. Eat a little food, watch some YouTube, do what you want to do. Check back on the game in like two minutes or so. And you're going to have a ton of fish. You also notice the fish will come up on land at this location here because they're actually going to come from downriver. And for some reason, they just beach themselves right there. I'm not really sure why. But again, carcass placement is key at this location. You want to have it kind of at an angle as where the fish are all going to be coming from this area, guys. You don't have to worry about any coming from this spot. So you kind of want to make it so it's kind of in the deeper end to the right. But here we go. As you can see, we already got like, what, four trouts down there, some bluegills. We got another trout down here, some pickerels, and a very big catfish. Oh, there's another trout right there. So I'm going to let this pile up here for about two minutes or so. Then we'll check back in on it, show you guys how much fish we got, head on to the butcher, sell it. You guys are going to be set to make some good money. Also, quick note, from time to time, you guys, if you notice that fish stop coming and you still notice a lot of ripples in the water, just go ahead and pick some of the fish up because if there's too many dead fish on the ground usually around 10 to 15 of them, then they'll kind of stop coming. So just go pick a few up and they'll start coming again. Also, if you guys don't get a full inventory after one batch, what you guys can do is pick up all the fish, put the deer back on your horse, ride away until this area is out of your mini map in the bottom left, come on back, spawn in a new batch, put the deer down, and you guys can pretty much fill all the way up until you got 10 of each type of fish pretty easily. All right, so it's only been about two minutes, and look, we have a huge amount of fish might already even have the max amount of trout that looks to be at least eight of them and a couple of them are buried in the mud you kind of have to dig them up at this location but as you can see this the rate that they're coming in from the water has slowed down now so that gives me a sign that i need to start picking some of these fish up the first thing i'm gonna do is this large catfish let's just get this one on the back of our uh, horse here up oh, that was a trout so we'll see we got chain pickerels we got redfin pickerels trouts rock bass and bluegills so a nice range of fish for you guys to get, which is what you want to look out for these spots. You don't want to go to a location where you're just getting one type of fish because that limits the money you can get. So as I'm picking these up, you guys can already notice that some fish are swimming over. So I'm actually good to back off and more will come in. But I might as well just clear off the whole batch. But there we go. I think I got them all. Let's use our eagle eye just to make sure. Sometimes they get buried in the mud, like I said. But I think we're good to go at this point. If you guys are happy with what you got, you can load everything into your satchel, load the big catfish on the back. You can even lasso this deer while you're on your horse to bring this on into the butcher as well. And this will just be some extra money. Now, like I was saying, check out my mini map. Notice how once we get to this area right here, the water's completely out of our view. If we head back on and over, all the fish that we saw in the water previously are not going to be there. You can spawn in a fresh batch and repeat this method. Notice, see, the water's completely empty. But if I were to hop off my horse, take out my fishing rod right now, and watch this. A whole new batch of fish are now spawning in. And you guys can do this method 
exactly at the same location with the exact same carcass and make some good money again. But I think we got a good enough amount. You guys get the idea. So let's lasso this deer up. I'm going to head back on into the butchers in San Denis. Let's see how much money we get. All right, so we made it on over to the butchers, and this is what we got right here. A pretty large hole. Now, of course, if we did a couple extra rounds, we probably could have maxed these out, but, you know, you guys get the idea. And on top of that, a quick thing, when you guys are heading back, whoops, I did not mean to sell him. When you guys are heading back, you'll notice that this location, so we're coming from right here. All along here, you guys will find a bunch of pelicans, herons, and so forth. Kill those if you would like to, because that's going to add at least an extra 20 in your pocket. So that's some good money you guys are going to want to grab and not miss up on. But here we go. Bullhead catfish, 75 cents each, $2.25. We got the red fin pickerel, a dollar for those. We got the bluegill, 75 cents each, $4.50 in total. The chain prickles, a dollar each, $4 in total. The meat from the deer, 60 cents each, $1.20 in total. And then we got the rock bass, a dollar each, 3 bucks in total. Here's the big boys, these steelhead trouts, two fifty each. That's twenty five dollars. That's the big money in this method. So sell that. Next we got the channel catfish, five bucks for that. That's some good money right there as well. Then we got the deer, good deer pelt, and the good deer carcass. So you can see that's some nice money right there. If you guys add in those birds, like I mentioned, the herons, you're looking at least at an extra twenty on top of that. But definitely a super easy carcass location they come in very fast at this spot a lot of the other locations it's kind of slow it's not really worth it but this spot is definitely good to go so i hope you guys enjoyed it hope it was helpful if it was drop a like on the video comment down below any other stuff in the area to add into this besides the birds besides that subscribe to the channel and i'll see y'all next time for a brand new video peace